Okay, we're out here at Wayne's. And we're doing a beginner's bike. A 2019 CB300R. I'm honestly stoked on this little bike. It looks awesome. For a 300, an entry level bike. Inverted forks from the factory. LED headlight. This display. Alright, so let's talk about this little 300 here. I'm actually really stoked on this little bike, just by its looks and everything else. Let's see what all we got here. I mean, we've got temperature gauge, RPM obviously, fuel gauge, speedometer as well. It's got ABS on it. I'm not sure if it's even available without ABS. Oh, they know me all too well when they say, Hey, let's put you on a naked bike. I love my naked bikes, man. They're awesome. I actually, dude, these mirrors are better than my FZ stock mirrors. I feel like I was staring at my shoulder the whole time on my FZ. But not so much on this little thing. I, got, I actually have a field of view. I don't have to chicken wing it. This thing looks like it packs a lot of stuff into it for probably the price that they go for, which is probably not much at all. <laughs> I mean, the LED headlight, the inverted front forks. You know what, actually, you know what this thing kind of reminds me of? Just a bigger Grom. A bigger, you know, probably double the horsepower Grom. And you roll on the throttle and the little 300 pulls you right on up. Not shabby at all. I mean, it is so light and flickable feeling. I, I'm, I might say that I like these bars more than my stock FZ. Oh yeah. Yeah, they're just so wide. You just throw it right on around. I like this little thing, dude. So what can I say about this thing other than I'm already in love? With, I mean, I'm, I'm naturally drawn to like smaller displacement, slow bikes, slow bikes on the simple fact of it is way more fun, at least in my opinion, in my opinion, it is way more fun to ride a slow bike fast than it is to ride a fast bike slow. You just, you know, you feel like you're doing more. You're getting more out of the chassis. And, of course, with these type of bikes, they're more forgiving as well. Um, you know, with this bike, you're sitting way nice and upright. Like, I feel like I'm on a dirt bike, kind of. Not quite like the 701 that I rode last week. But, you know, very close. It actually feels a little bit less aggressive than my FZ07. And I'm okay with that for somebody that's grabbing a first bike. Um, and the reason I'm riding this thing is because I told Wayne's, I'm like, hey, let's do more beginner's bikes. You know, everybody's, oh, you know, I test rode the new R6 and I test rode the R1, things like that. Nobody gives any love to the little bikes. I mean, there's a few people out there that test ride them and everything and throw videos up and give their reviews, but it's just not as common. So I figure why not help out the newer riders and, you know, or maybe, you know, somebody that just kind of wants a commuter bike, you know, puts around town, like say they've got their, you know, R1 or their, you know, ZX-10R and they just want like a little teeny bike like this just to you know, run errands and commute with, you know, just, you know, say they have to commute across town, you know, but they don't, they don't want to be on the uh, ZX 
Well, let's ch check the suspension. Oh, nice and smooth. I did stand up for it though. Um, you know, they don't they don't want to have to be out on the ZX uh, ZX10 or you know their leader bike or even their 600. You know, could you can you can commute on them. They do fine. But you just want something nice and upright that you can enjoy the views like that river that's flooded over there and and you just have yourself a nice light little bike that's a blast to ride look at something like this you know if you want a new bike as a first bike but you you know for some reason you're you don't want you know a uh 500 look at the three look at the little three this is my first time riding the 300 to be honest and this little thing is awesome. Like, I feel like it's got good little pull to it. Pedal, 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 pedal. Fellow cyclists, no helmet. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're gonna get wet. Ah! <laughs> oh, I can feel it spraying up my back. Oh, that water is probably filthy. <laughs> let's say you pick this thing up and you know, how's it do? How's it got for acceleration? Let's find out here. To say you know we're in what yeah we were in fourth gear there yeah so let's say you're merging onto the interstate 35 or so you know that's a respectable speed to be going around our on-ramp and roll on the throttle a little bit look at it pull right on up fourth fifth we're at 60 which I mean you know you really shouldn't in my opinion I wouldn't take a 300 onto the interstate unless I had to but Shoot, I mean, she pulls right on up, man. Nice little pick up and go. You know, even for fifth gear, roll right on onto it. It'll do what you want it to do. Now, one of the things that, you know, people with like, say the FZs, especially, you know, single cylinders and even the parallel twins, they tend to have a lot of engine braking. How's this thing do for engine braking? Well, let's let off at 50. I'm not thrown forward. I'm nice and comfortable. It does slow you down, but nothing terrible. Not as not as choppy as uh, my FZ is. It's a lot smoother, actually. And some of that is, you know, the lack of displacement as well. 